and welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. I'm Brett Papa, and today is all about how to do those like cool fills in between, you know, the verse or something of a song. You know, those little cool, like, you know, you hear them all the time, right? They're part of every song, they're cool guitar fills, and it's fun and it mixes up the rhythm, and you don't just have to play the same thing over and over again. How do you do that? Well, I'm gonna tell you, but first check the links down below in the description box. There is a soloing tutorial that is not on YouTube that totally goes over how to solo over chord changes, both in major and minor, so check that out. Now this, I'm just playing basically out of E, right? And it, it, this is kind of E major, right? trick to this is I like to mix major and minor when I do this sort of thing so even though right I'm taking a note from E minor and E major right and you mix those two together and you get of that but you're basically just going three four down to the root and maybe even that you're kind of bending into the major scale now that's just on single note runs, right? So you got, remember, you can pull this out of E minor pentatonic. Right, and you get all sorts of. Right, that's just using the open string, the E. That's another thing you can do, kind of droning licks using the minor pentatonic scale. So check this out, I'm just sliding up in position two, right here. And what that's doing is that's getting you part of this either E minor or E major chord, right? Dropping you back into position one. And then... Right, and you're just using different variants of the E minor pentatonic scale. But when you start to mix major and minor together, that to me is my favorite sound. Now, obviously, it matters what song you're playing over. You can't mix major and minor over everything. But in this instance, where it's just kind of, you know, maybe Van Halen-y or, you know, I don't know, some classic rock style progression, mixing major and minor gets some killer licks. So, we had the... <laughs> Now that's just strictly minor. Now we did this. That's kind of mixing major and minor, but we can get into more of that major and minor sound. So check this out. If we added... Right now we're starting to mix more of that major and minor sound. So we got... So I go droning. Five with the open E. Three, two, and then check this out. Love that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hybrid pick and I'm gonna make a really fast slide. I'm not gonna go, it's gonna be. I start from G3 and I move down to G2, but quick. All right, so get that move down. And then I go into major by going. So I take the open G string and I go to the major third of my E chord. Right, think of this E chord. Right, so we got. And then I hit an open E string. So we got. And then I go back to an open E and that gives me time to reset up my rhythm back here. Right, so. Way. Or you could 
just go. Time to come back to here. Okay, so that was starting kind of from a major sound, right? Or a minor sound, rather. But if we want to do that same thing, we can start from using the major scale as well, major pentatonic. And I'm going to use, you can think of this as position three. <laughs> Or position four but the point being is you have that E major chord here right so knowing how to spot chords all over the neck really really helps in this kind of a thing because you can play chord tones and also lead lines and combine them together and that's where the cool double stops come from I talk about that in my courses all the time so check those out again in the links below there is a link that's gonna help you with soloing and that gives you kind of an introduction to what we're all about and how you can take your playing to another place. Okay, so check this out. We're gonna grab a double stop. Okay, so it's two pieces of the chord. You got the fifth and the root and you're gonna hammer in. Okay, so you go four and five and then you, you know, kind of Okay, so you got Now check this out when I go. You're kind of hinting at this G. But you're also playing out of E minor. Position four. Now you also have your E minor scale right there. So when you go. The cool thing about that is you're kind of bending an E minor into a major, right? And then coming back to the root. So, so there's that approach. Now, you can also take this chord and do kind of the Hendrixy double stop or the major kind of. The secret to doing that is whenever you have the chord, which is the A shape of the chord, okay, and it's kind of playing off that cage thing, but say you got the you know, this version of your E chord, this would be known as the A shape of an E chord because it kind of takes on the shape of an A chord, right? But you just have an E in the root. Now, when you have a chord like this, think of this chord's major pentatonic, position one being right, right behind it. So you get. Okay, now the great thing about that is you have all these kind of licks. Just seeing this pentatonic shape blended with this chord. Now these notes are the important notes that you kind of want to resolve to because that's the chord tones and that's what we're trying to do and that's what you want to do in soloing as well. You always got to think about the chord you're playing over and that's what makes it sound melodic, right? Or that goes with you know the part or the lick or whatever you're creating that's what's going to make it go with what you're playing over is if you're hitting pieces of those chords from the progression so
all those notes are <laughs> adding chromatic runs. <laughs> Double stop like this. Go down. Try that, you know, get a little, get a little, you know, rhythm going. If you have a little looper, that's great too, because then you can just practice those licks in time. Otherwise, you're kind of trying to freestyle it. Keep your foot tapping or whatever, so you're making sure that you're maintaining that groove, right? Because you want to be able to, if you're the only guitar player, you want to be able to do those licks and keep your timing and your feel and all that kind of stuff as you're playing, right? Because if you're holding down the fort, don't do licks that you can't keep the feel of the rhythm right so if you can't you know don't try to do some rip and run that's gonna lose the feel of the song because again the lick should fit what you're playing over you know song is always king so do what fits for the song and not for you know your ego even though it's tough because you know as guitar players people are like ooh, there's a guitar oh there's doing a lead wow and you get used to all this stuff and then you want to just, you know, go further and play something faster and you think faster is better. And it's sometimes, it's, well, a lot of times it's not. And, and, and sometimes your licks, you're like, mm, but that just, no, don't do that. Just play to the song. Remember, the end of the day, the song is king. Okay, so one more time. It's super, super fun. It's something I've been working on myself, you know, trying to get and get the feel and get, you know, different vibes and try quick slides too. You're not, not always, but or, that those help keep a pocket, right? If you're trying to do always that kind of stuff, try this quick slide. Oftentimes is the difference in maintaining that pocket and losing the feel. So make sure you check that out. Now over here, if you want to help fund the whole project, brettpapa.com, and it's where I teach you how to improvise and do all things melodic. So check that out. Funds all the free videos. Over there is the subscribe. You can also share the video. If you like it, share your video with friends. And then whoosh, over there, there's going to be more free videos for you to check out. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. I'll catch you next time.